Simplify the radical expression. Okay, so we have negative 10 plus the square root of negative 50. Now, we want to think about some factors of 50 and, and particular ones that might um, be a perfect square. Uh, so remember that 25 goes into 50, and 25 is also a perfect square. So we're going to change it to negative 25 times 2. And we want to keep the negative with the perfect square um, because that's going to come out. So we'll keep in mind that the square root of negative 25 is 5i. So we can take that 5i out. So we get negative 10 plus 5i times the square root of 2 over 5. Now since we have um, th uh, all three of these, 10, uh, 5i, and square root of 2, and 5, are all divisible by 5, we're going to go ahead and divide them all by 5. So we get negative 2 plus just i now, root 2, um, and then it's over 1, so we don't need to write that anymore. And that's the final answer.